Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, back with some more freshly picked Tingle's Rosy Rupee Land. Just checking in with my items while we're here. We have four of the five cubes, three of the five herbs, and all five orbs. That's good, I don't need to do any more digging around today. So yes, we're in the fairy garden. We're looking for various comestibles. Well, not really comestibles, you can't eat them, but might as well look through what we have. A black ball, very heavy. Blue balls, they're cold to the touch. Green ball, Smells nice. Yellow ball, it's a bit dirty. Red ball, it's a spicy boy. A damp leaf. A dead leaf. A spicy leaf. A block of iron. A block of water. A block of nature. And a red cube. So we're having a fun time here. We're making good progress. We're more than halfway done here, which I didn't realize we were skating through that quickly. But hey, also, I was looking at the map, and... It occurred to me that we actually didn't finish exploring in the bottom right corner. I've been exactly the opposite of methodical here, and yet, 68% map completion. What are you going to do? For now, though, we have this friend. Come on, this is not the time to be downhearted. Now is the time to join forces and save the world. Throw in the orb. Throw in the vaguely triangular herb. And throw in the cube. As you can sort of tell, they're indicated by a circle, triangle, and a square. So, what are we getting from here? Someone taking a very frothy piss into a cup. But hey, we've lit up one of the Googuses. Here I go, the one and only. Kaboom! Fighting for justice, it's the Magma Fairy! Hey, yo, thanks for helping me out. 15,000 rupees. And with that, if you're using a Zed Fairy, you can now refuel it here. I haven't been because you've seen how badly that's gone for me before. Also, there's another friend. Ugh. These have given me so much puffle in the previous episode. So, uh, yeah, Mori, please move. Stoof! Stoof. Yes, stoof. By the way, we can, just barely, and it's not a good idea, but we can afford to open the final area of the game with the money that we currently have. We shouldn't. We should finish what we've started here in the Fairy Garden, but hypothetically, if we wanted to go ahead to the end game, we could do that right now. But we're not going to because the Fairy Garden is fun and I love it and I will make you love it with me. Also, this did touch me quite a bit as a child as well. Just this, like, narrative presented through an area where there's not really any out loud storytelling apart from what we've heard thus far. There's no no storytelling apart from the story How dare you consume my bomb by off-screening me? I was going to sell these? You rude child. This is why I don't like enemies where you have to like like use items on them before you can find them. You know like the uh, the monkey creatures in the uh, in the steamy marsh. I don't like them because sometimes that shit happens. But yes, we can come down here, which I don't think I did before because there's another hole here. And what did I tell you about holes? We have a new friend. Hi. Nice to meet you. Have you met Duke and Judge? I'm their elder sister, Duco. That's right, sister. You can tell I'm a girl, right? <laughs> What's that look for? Well, anyway, don't you want this broken bridge repaired? If you do, why don't you show me how much you want to fix? Uh, five, 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 five. That is how many rupees I will pay you to get to work. That is a nice color, to be fair. Like, I... slightly higher pitch, just so you can tell. I... A bridge like this is no problem for me. You know my younger brother? He's a real pain. We used to be friends, but the way things are now, I just can't stand him. We're competing to win the love and respect of our father. I won't let my brothers beat me. I won't allow it. Well, I've got other bridges I need to repair. See you around. Fair enough. I...
can't tell. Like, bearing in mind how, like, Japanese this game is and how heavy-handed Japan can be when it comes to stuff like this, I can't tell if that's supposed to be, like, progressiveness in terms of trans representation or just a, a transphobic joke. Like, honestly, I, it, it could be read either way because Duco identifies as female and yet has a moustache and traditionally masculine build, so I guess to an extent it's kind of on the player to determine how to interpret it, or you could just mind your own damn business, that works too. Now, um, we have, oh, we have seven bananas, we're fine on the banana front, and we have plenty of flowers, uh, what's the other thing we need? High class rice, do we have enough, okay, yeah, we, we, we can make a local recipe, but uh, we don't have it yet, uh, th this will be the one time that I will permit my lack of knowledge of the like, hang on, how am I supposed to word this? This is the one time where I will respect the fact that I don't have the local recipe to hand just yet. Partly because I don't have it memorized. I, I, I'm fairly sure that it's seven rice, seven bananas, and two pretty flowers. But the bananas are absolute bastards to get hold of, so I prefer not to worry about it. And these lizards, I feel like somewhere there are lizards that like, one of them has one of the items we're looking for. Can y'all not with that? And as you can sort of tell, these lizards kind of work in tandem with the uh, the bad bone boys because their eye goop will get you stuck. And of course, if you get stuck, you will get got. You will be charged 2,000 rupees and everything will be sad forever. Now, if we wander down here-ish, I know it's in one of these corners. There we go. There's a rock that we need a nitro bomb for, and a chest behind it. You can't touch me. You will not off-screen me just like that other creature did. Good grief. Blow that open, crack open the chest, and to nobody's surprise, we get the recipe for fairy vinegar. Vinegar made of rice and bananas. Sure. But yeah, we can- Oh, it only takes one pretty flower. You see, if I'd put a second flower in, the all of that would have turned into a scrap broth. Which is fucking rude, if you ask me. Like, it was one ingredient out, and it won't even give me the benefit of the doubt. The D apostrophe out. Get your bones away from me, sir. That's a thing you can say out of context. At this point, I'm just fighting everything. The camels tend not to be aggressive unless you fight them first. Also, they give you heart meat and glossy fur. Now, Yamori, much as I would like to heal you, you don't accept health potions, so you're just gonna die soon. That's fine. I don't really need you for much else. But it, it's been convenient having you around. Now, where the Flalfman do I go next? As, as has been established, this is a very wide open area, and we still haven't really explored the northern half of the garden, so... Yeah, as I was saying earlier, I... This was one of the, like, first areas in gaming that properly hit me with its, like, storytelling of... It's called the garden. But it's not a garden. That really hit me when I first played this game as but a youth. So, you know, brilliant storytelling, according to Tingle. Who, who would have guessed? Oh, there's a little bit more fighty food to be up here. Yamori is dead. Really? Really? That was unexpected. Anyway, Yamori, what's up? Roman bodyguards do not read contract. Yeah, we know. So, later, loser. But yes, uh, something sparkled as a consequence of that battle. Can I please have? Is it just lost forever? You've respawned? I guess I'll just fight them myself then, and lose money hand over fist in so doing. Fine, I, 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 I will take your meats, your assorted meats. Or is it just to get them out of the way so we can dig hole here? If, if so, I disapprove. There we go. There, we found the spring leaf herb. That's probably the real reason you want to fight. I, I thought they dropped something. Evidently, I was mistaken like an egg and a bacon. Well, you know what? Whatever. Now that we're no longer attached to Yamori, we're free to contract ourselves to... Well, a, a, acquire a contract with any other roaming bodyguards we happen to run into. Thank heavens for directional audio. Okay... I don't remember there being a, a thing here, but sure, why not? Also, um, there's a thing here that, as a Brit, 
I feel like I could be forgiven for not acknowledging this at all, but, um... It's a baseball thing. Like, it works in, J like, Japan, because the Japanese people, as a nation, are rather big on baseball. It works in Americans, because- it works in Americans, mind you, because Americans love baseball. It's practically a stereotype, but you wouldn't- I- like, as a Brit, I would not recognize that were I not already aware of it. Now, can you just stop existing, please? Thank you. Now, where else are we going? In fact, do we even have all of the everything else? Because it's really not easy to keep track. Sort once again. So we have all the remaining cubes. We're still missing the iron herb, but that's it. We've got everything else. Nice. Oh, and uh, we no longer have the map for Mount Desma because we sold it. Hang on a minute. Where's the... I... Ooh. Oh, I guess we've... Have we not been up here? I guess we've not been up here. Maybe this is where the iron herb is. We have another rice garden at the very least, if we need more of that. We don't need more of that, but if we hypothetically did, this would be where to get it from. And yet, that suggests to me that we have already been over here. Hmm... I don't remember where the Iron Herb is. But other than that, we're basically completely done here. As I said, it's a two-episode job, but... Like, it's, it's a very quick kind of rising, falling arc here. Stay away. I, I will happily sacrifice- that's the one time I will happily sacrifice a collectible. Like, if- if the alternative is death. If things don't change, the whole world will be in danger. But it's no easy task to collect the treasure for all five fairies. Orb. Herb. Cube. I do like the noise that it makes when they hit the bottom of the, the spring and go dang, and then frothy piss in a cup. And we've lit up another one of the things! I summon the second fairy Power Ranger. Eh, it's my turn! <laughs> Wowee! I'm back everybody, the Earth Fairy! Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so happy to be here! Another 15,000? Yes, you get a lot of money here very quickly. Can you be helped? God. And once again, we've charged up another Zed Ferry charging station, should we need it. But as you can tell, you're, you're fine not. Okay, I think we've found the Iron Herb. Just, we have a, a random oinker to deal with. Excuse you, turn around, bash your head on the rock if you please. Thank you, we don't have a bodyguard anymore, so we're going to suffer, but I mean, we'll be fine. I mean, bear in mind, Child Tess did all of this without bodyguards, so it can be done. It's just much more costly. And don't forget to tap away at the, uh, the dust cloud as well to do a little bit extra damage. And how convenient that this rock is just sitting here waiting for us to bop a head on it. Bop a head on it. Really, you're still refusing to comply. Now, the next area after this is actually the smallest in the game, immediately following the largest. And there are a lot of oinkers and other things to fight there. So, we will need to go back and, like... I sense some dark force all around us. Five fairies combining our power can bring the Grand Fairy back. There's no time to lose. I like that dong. But, oh, that, that sounded fun out of context. Yeah, next area, there's a lot of oinkers and a lot of other tough enemies, and child me thought it was a good idea to take them on without a bodyguard. I did eventually learn my lesson, but, I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I at least did the fairy garden bodyguardless, and as you can see, it is possible, just a lot more tedious. Anyway. Fill it up. Piss in that cup in a frothy manner. Light up another one. Going in rainbow order here, as you can see. Is that my wake-up call? Russell, Russell, the Leaf Fairy is here to stay. Thank you for returning the pool to its old state. Another 15,000. As you can probably infer, 75,000. So, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75,000 for filling up all the pools. So that's 5,000 per object. Just, you can only turn them in in groups of three and they have to match color-wise, but anyway. Also, just, if you ever get lost, follow the paths on the map, and they'll just take you to wherever it is you happen to be going. Next up, the moist. The world's rupee balance has been disturbed. That's why our fairy garden has turned into this horrible desert. 
You know when I said there was no explicit storytelling here? I didn't say that because it's not true. Dong. And one last dong for good measure. Hmm. And... Frothy piss in a cup. That's just what it sounds like to me. You could hear the froth. Hey. My commentary these past two episodes has been terrible because it's like with Spyro. I'm having too much fun so I can't talk properly. I'm up. Here I come. Yeah! The Aqua Fairy has arrived. Where did this desert come from? This is no good. Now, you might think that we're going somewhere with all of this storytelling. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but um, this desert will never not be a desert, unfortunately. As a youth, I was very disappointed to discover that even if you complete this area's quest, you still don't... Like, it never turns back to its original state. This area is stuck as a desert forever. Yeah, we're familiar with those. You're an entire continent away from where you should be. Also, the thought occurs. Where is the blue chest for this area? Because, like, I got so caught up in, like, doing all of my favorite area that I forgot to even think about this. So we'll have to douse for it properly. We're nowhere near it. Okay, good to know. But that's fine. We're near the beginning anyway. So, less faff, more head to the sideways. I could get a Zephyr. Also, hang on. Just look at the map. Where on this map is likely to have more map markables? I would say the upper right, which is nowhere near where we need to be. So, I... Off hang on a minute. Are we even... Yeah, 87% on the map. I don't remember what we're missing. <laughs> Like, I, I love this area to bits, but I, I do not remember it because it's huge, as I said. They have matches for legs. They just do. We don't question this. Hang on. Are we near the Iron Spring? We are near the Iron Spring. I'm just a fool. In fact, it's right there. Black Spring. Something is wrong in the world. The pool is dried up. Please find the orb, herb, and cube to bring the pool back to life. I love how, like, it's three items, and the only reason why they are those three items is because they all end in b. Like, herb, cube, orb. It, it's just, it's a nice touch. I like it. It makes no sense. There's no reason. It's just pleasing. Anyway. Fairy number five. Piss in a frothy cup. Yeah, it's the cup that's frothy this time. And with that, we complete the rainbow. Hang on a minute. That's black rather than purple. Where have we seen that before? I'm back on the scene. Woohoo! What the world's been waiting for. The one, the only, Metal Fairy. And again, we've been rewarded accordingly. So yeah, we have solved this area's problem and, hmm, Metal, Aqua, Leaf, Earth, and Magma. Hmm, I'm sensing a Pattern here. Now, two things. First of all, I would like to locate the blue chest, and I don't remember where it is. Tell me, Tingle, tell me true. Am I in the right area yet? No. Okay. Well, I want to go and look for the last thing that I'm missing from the map, because it's bothering me that I can't even think of what it is. What it is. Iggy Iggs. Yes, we'll find Iggy Azalea herself and put her on the map. Like she needs our help, am I right, fellas? F fellas, whatever. Also, actually, we, we, we could duck into the bodyguard salon now that we're not having to worry about off-screening a Zed fairy. Just for completion's sake, what's going on in here? We have some friends. Yeah, we're familiar with the pretty flowers. Pretty flowers are pretty flowers. That's just a hint about the red cube. Okay, you just get hints. Okay. You, you just get hints for the various things here, it seems. And I would get a bodyguard, but eh, we can save that for the next area. Ah, we have lore here. Our ancestors helped this land's ancient hero. We were cursed by the evil demon. If you act as the hero's shadow, then I will curse you and make you live forever as shadows, afraid of the sun. Those were the demon's words as he put his terrible curse on our people. Ever since then, we have had to live wearing these hoods you see today. My grandfather once sat me down and told me this story. I remember he told me something else. Once a man came here wielding a mighty sword. <laughs> Hang on a minute. 
Once a foolish samurai warrior wielding a magic sword stepped forth to oppose me. But before the final blow was struck, tore the portal in time. I, 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 I don't know, something, something into the future where my evil is law. Now the fool seeks to return to the past and undo the future that is our coup. I just went on a journey there. But yeah, it, it saddens me that, um, Oh. It saddens me that this area never turns back into a garden. It is just a desert forever, but I suppose that... Oh, hey! Hey, girl! It saddens me that we never get to see it in that state. Okay, so more hints about, like, various things that we've already done. Yep, we, uh, we know about all of this. Right. I will need a hot second to just go and look for what I'm looking for, because we have a bit of plot to get on with, and it's bothering me... But I'm still missing bits and pieces, so I'll catch back up with you lovely people in just a hot secondo. Secondo? Secondo. Yeah, why not? Ah! I found a bridge. I can stand on the bridge. Does the bridge do anything if I touch it at all? Could this be the final map markable? Am I a fool? Did I walk right past this earlier and not even acknowledge it? We're still missing at least one map markable. Well, at the very least, game, have some sympathy on me. Are we vaguely near our destination? Actually, yes. Well, all right then. Don't touch me, please. Don't touch me, please. Okay. If I wander out here, am I any closer? Just escaping the double banana friends. Because we don't need bananas no more. We don't need no bananas no more. We're right on fucking top of it, apparently. Jolly good. Well... Diggy fresh hole, then. Where are you coming from? Oh, no! Don't. Why did you stop? I don't mind, but why? Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? You're below. I don't like you. Go away. <laughs> stop the chasey choo-choo. <laughs> the, the chasey choo-choo. Well, it's somewhere around here, anyway. Excuse me? Can you be helped? Hi, Tingle. Yeah, okay. I'm familiar with the concept. Just let me have my treasure. Like, maybe that's just Pinkle's way of saying you've finished with this area that put your winnings into the tower. But come on, there needs to... There should be a treasure around here somewhere, and the fact that it's not just falling into my arms bothers me. There we go. Good. Good Greg from Night in the Woods. Well, just to satiate her concerns, I'm half tempted to grab this treasure and then immediately go back to the tower, throw a, a cursed amount of money in, and then come there all that for a fucking ruby. And then come straight back. Because it's bothering me that I can't locate that final map markable. I am 27 shades of dumb, and I'm feeling every one of them. So... Tower, before you throw a hissy fit and decide to murder me in the face, we could open the next area in this episode. We're not going to, but I will throw a, a cursory thousand in there just to shut its ass up. Yes, shut the ass of the tower up. Good grief. Yeah, I know it won't be enough. That's the idea. So yes, let's just fly back to exactly where we just were. Hey. I'm guessing it's somewhere in, in the upper right, so I'll just... I'll just meet you over there. I feel bad for this poor showing at the moment. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. The orb! Of course there's an orb! God damn. It's even marked on the map already. It's got a pedestal and everything. I am an idiot? Hey. Okay, now the map is complete. And of course, the orb would be somewhere that's difficult to access without standing on the sand. Or standing on the stand, if you prefer. And you know I don't want to get got by the resident sand... Monkey, don't you try your poof on me! Hmm. <sighs> okay, now that all of that extraneous extra stress has been dealt with, let's go and get an extra reward for our shenangles. Shenangles, yes, that's the word for it now. Now, please, no more angry sand people, and since we're here, grab a few more flowers, because we can! Also, the thought occurs, in the next episode, we're actually going to have access to spicy prawns, so 
while I'm thinking about making fairy vinegar, we're also going to be needing to make that super stew and also another local recipe. But yes, anyway, at last. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Russell, Russell! Woo! Kaboom! The water just kind of appears and we're okay with it. So, the person we've been doing this for. Taz, thank you for reviving the pools. I am the Grand Fairy. I will show you the true path. First, close your eyes and I will take away all your fatigue. Is that a euphemism? I feel like that's a euphemism for paying me money. Only rupees will ease your fatigue. 65,000. It's less than your various cohorts gave us, but it's still a sumptuous amount. 65,000 rupees. It's yours. Gina, take this, Gina. Tess, the evil power of rupees is flooding the world. It is not only this pool that has been affected by that dark force. Wild animals have become monsters. People are displaying an ugly greed and long only for rupees. What, you mean this isn't just normal? <laughs> Capitalism? Sad? Why has the power of rupee balance been disturbed? Who can be behind it? We must have faith in the good power that rupees also contain. Before long, your true destiny will be revealed to you. Then, all of the rupees you have collected will give you strength. That's why you have to go on collecting rupees, Tess. If you say so. Nice sort of sprite layering there. Well, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons in the next episode. We'll put that good rupee power to good rupee use, throw them into the tower, and see what the last area of the game has to hold. I can hardly wait. So, uh, see you then for that.